I think I'm witnessing a fight in this urgent care parking lot. next to me is closed and literally like <laughs> in that 30 second time span I witnessed more people than I should have attempting to enter the, the building. Don't ask me when the last time I ate was. I promise it wasn't three days ago um, and by that I mean it was. Well, I finally found the elusive Nashville tenders. Well, I'm starving so we're gonna go ahead and eat now. Wow, that's scary. We're not going to do that again. Let's see if these are worth the hype. This is also like my first time eating KFC, so... Oh my god. Okay, fries are like a 9 out of 10. Fully a 9 out of 10. So I just got the three-piece Nashville tender combo and um, Dr. Pepper. I haven't had Dr. Pepper in actual years so this is about to be everything oh my god it's so funny how everyone used to try to like figure out what the flavor was i know there's like 23 flavors but now in hindsight it's like so very clearly um someone sent me a message on depop um it's just so very clearly cherry Ooh, I forgot you get a biscuit. I love biscuits. People pulling up on me. Let's open the box. Or not. Jesus. Off the rip, I'm not sure how I feel about the smell that's coming off of these. But here are the tenders. I'm just gonna go for one. Turns into an ASMR of me just eating. So as a former member of the Picky Child Coalition, I'm a chicken tender connoisseur because that's all I would get at every restaurant, okay? These are the best tenders I've ever had, and that's that. It's like white meat, so juicy and like almost melts in your mouth, but so crunchy on the outside. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Finger looking good, huh? This is like amazing. Wow. This is so good. I can't even like talk. I can't be entertaining right now. Now, will I be hospitalized from eating this? Maybe, but it's worth the risk. It's life without a little, a little danger. Let's try the biscuit. Now, I love Popeye's biscuits. I am team Popeye's biscuit. See, this angers me. I don't like that. Is it like lunchtime? Everyone's on break. Okay, I'm gonna focus. Um, I'm a Popeye's biscuit fan, so let's see how these compare. Mm mm. No. No. Those are too dry for me. They have a weird consistency. So story time. I deleted TikTok for my mental health and sanity. So I didn't know about these tenders until I saw them on like Twitter or something. And when I saw Trisha Paytas make a video about them. And I was like, well, Nashville Hot is like one of my favorite flavors, so I need to go. Um, but me, I don't just go, I call because I'm a Virgo and I have common sense. I'm not gonna drive around to 50 locations when I can just call them. So sure, a lot of them didn't answer. Um, because of the shortage of staff right now due to but anyways the people that did answer also they didn't have it one man was kind enough to tell me that they get their shipments in on Tuesdays so I should check in like around then um yes I was just having kind of a rough day so I didn't want I just wasn't in the mood to 
to go or eat like i said i haven't eaten in like three days and today i still had no appetite but i was like i need to eat to survive and i want to get these before they're gone so i called and they had them these elusive nashville hot tenders so here we are that's the story when i asked if they had them and the woman hesitated i was like oh no 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 these are actually like insanely good insanely I think I'm witnessing a fight in this urgent care parking lot. What could be that deep? That's my question. These aren't spicy though, at all. Like in the slightest. They're just good. And my final thoughts are, run not walk to your local KFC, but call first. And if they have these, get them because they're amazing and there's also like a nationwide chicken shortage so the kfc like crisis there could just be like no chicken locked like tenders are like not on their menu to order online so yeah get them while you can get them while they're hot okay that's all hopefully i'll eat again in the next three days and also more importantly than this there's a lot going on in the world right now so Look outside of yourself, just, you know, a reminder to look outside of yourself, educate yourself, stay informed, and try to help how you can and where you can. These are some tough times, so it's hard enough to, like, just take care of your own mental health and, like, make sure you're okay, but just a reminder to keep your friends, your family, your loved ones close, and do what you can for people that might be being affected by things that don't affect you, because, you know... It could very well be you, and even if it isn't you, you should still care. So, in my description, I'm going to put some links to things that are currently going on in the world. Please check them out, and thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can comment if you had these, if you think they're worth the hype. I saw some people saying they're overrated, so if you think they're overrated, let me know. And, yeah, see you next time. Bye! <laughs>